Hey there, Leslie Sanson Williams coming to you today from Paralegal Coffee Talk on Facebook, my website, Leslie Sanson Williams, and my book, Legal Break In, which is available on Amazon, and I'll put all the links below. So, today I want to talk briefly about three fears that are prevalent with folks that are looking at the paralegal career for the first time and they it's it's a dream that's been placed say for instance maybe on your heart and in your mind to go into this field you know it's sometimes the the uh, picture that's painted on TV or in commercials isn't quite accurate as to what a paralegal does but um, the learning curve is there it's not a simple office job it's quite a complex office job of course it depends on the area of law you go into so just some hints there and I want to talk about the three fears that most of us uh, that I faced before I went into the career so let's talk about the first one and be sure you watch my video I did live on the Facebook page um, and also here on the YouTube page but uh, feel free to visit I do live videos over on the Facebook page and on my website there are podcasts and then on this particular YouTube channel you'll see a video called zero debt and it has zero debt to to get into the paralegal career or something like that so this first one is the fear that you will not get hired without a college degree. It's absolutely not true. I have people that are watching videos on this channel and you can see the comments below in various videos that people are willingly sharing that they have, they have gone after a job. One lady who said I could share her experience went after uh, well got laid off and happened to watch and it's not a not a, a coincidence I, I feel God directed her to watch a video just on an uplifting video I did and then that brought her to some other videos and that made her take the next step which you can too so don't think and she had no no college uh, regarding the paralegal field she had no I don't believe she had college at all and she was laid off that day and that night she got all her resumes and cover letters together and just hit it really hard because for her she is the sole pretty much the sole support of that house with a child and a disabled mother so when that pressure is on you you can you will sometimes be able to break through the fear because you don't have any other choices and I did not have quite that pressure on me I had self-imposed pressure that I wanted to work my kids were more teenagers and I wanted to go back in the workforce and do something I like to do really like to do so I had a bit of a I had much easier time of it than, than the, some of the people that have given me their testimonies on this channel. And so um, I want you to go for your dreams. Don't let the fact that you don't have a college education or you don't have a paralegal degree stop you from getting into this field. People are getting in, into, but you have to go for the right position. You don't go for advanced paralegals, paralegals where they're advertising for two to five years, 10 years experience. Don't apply for those jobs. They need experience for a reason. They want you to hit the ground running. Apply for entry level positions, okay? And I go into much more of this strategy in my class, Paralegal Inner Circle. So go to the website, my website listed below, and I'll list a direct link to the wait list for that. And get on the wait list. You'll get an email when the class opens up again, okay? Now, um, no one will hire you without experience. Again, not true. They will. The attorneys that advertise for entry-level positions, they know they're getting people with limited experience, if any. Okay, and number three, no one's going to call you for an interview. Not so. 
people on my channel and other people I've heard from and this is you know people will say to me well Leslie you've been in this field for 27 plus years you entered it 27 plus years ago things have changed the fact that attorneys that small to medium law firms cannot afford to pay someone never mind the fact that you don't have any experience you know to trade off on but they can't afford to pay someone 50 60 70 80 thousand dollars okay that's not gonna happen so the foot in the door comes with entry-level positions small to medium law firms small meaning one attorney law firm now understand that you won't get benefits with a sole practitioner a one attorney law firm they can't afford it they're not bringing in enough money to do that ne not necessarily okay so you have to decide what can you do away with do you have insurance through your spouse or will you pay for it yourself and then trade up on jobs later on and go to another law firm who a law firm that offers benefits so that's the things you have to think about but don't let this I don't have experience I don't have college education they're not gonna call me for an interview don't let that play in your head you just have to hit it and go for it and look at what your skills are you have to evaluate yourself to see if you have most of what they're asking for in the job ads and I go uh, again I go into so much more about this in the class so um, check that out get on the wait list and we'll go from there all right but I don't want to see you, this these types of fears stop you from achieving your goals achieving your dreams you know this has been placed on your heart and in your mind for a reason I will preach that forever and um, there are no coincidences God places things on our hearts and in our minds to show us perhaps what you you know the purpose is for our lives so start moving into your purpose explore different avenues so you know as I've said in another video if you go into this field and you haven't spent any money on college or education what is your real loss if, if you feel ah this isn't for me you know but if you go to college that's a lot of money down the tubes right and then you start to feel bad about it so put college off to the side you can always go later if you decide yes I want to get certified I want to go through the two-year ABA approved course and I want to get certified then do it when you have the money and don't go into debt now if you're already in school and you're listening to this don't be disheartened this gives you hope for the future so that you also even if you're in school and you say well let's say I'm, I'm almost done with school and now you're saying I don't need school well unfortunately you didn't find me in time but what I would say is I would graduate I would finish if you're in the last semester I would finish of course and then start applying for entry-level jobs because you still don't have the as much legal knowledge as you think all right and you don't have any experience so you have to go after entry level positions all right so have a great day don't forget to check out the links below get on the wait list for the class oh also on the website you can get a free chapter of my book on the right hand side of the page you land on when you just go to the website not for the wait list but the website um, lesliesansonwilliams.com on the right side you will see a form fill it out and you'll get a free chapter of my book legal break-in so have a great day let me know if you have any questions or comments below click like and subscribe well click subscribe and then click that little bell so that you're notified when a new video is posted all right so that you don't miss any so have a great day and I'll see you in the next video take care bye bye